John Paoloni, Billy Mails, Jock Hunter, David Granger, John McDougall and Terry Hartman. Representing the Department of Sport and Recreation and official recorder of all contests is Mr. Tony Batten. The medical officers in attendance are Dr. Alex and Lou Lewis. This is the WBA Pan-African heavyweight title bout consisting of 12 three-minute rounds. Fighting out of the red corner in the white trunks with the black trim, weighing in at an impressive 104.4 kilos with a professional record of 17 bouts for 17 wins. Only two men have gone the distance. Trained by Henry Schuster and managed by Ken Rinsfield. All the way from Auckland, New Zealand, Shane the Mountain Warrior Cameron. His opponent trying to wrestle away the championship belt and fighting in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, weighing in at 118 kilos. With a professional record of 47 bouts for 28 wins, 17 losses and two draws, 19 wins by way of knockout. Originally from Croatia, now calling Wyunga, New South Wales home, Trained and managed by Angelo Haider, Bob the Big Bear Mirovic. <laughs> Judges for this WBA Pan African Heavyweight bout Charlie Lucas, Trevor Christian, and Des Lloyd, and your referee, Mr. Brian McMahon. Hey, Bob. Come in, Bob. I want you to listen to what I've got to say. I want you to hit the kidneys or the back of the neck. When I say break, you step back. Don't hit on the break. Keep the punches up and watch the heads. And when I call, when I call break, step back. And from that moment, you're holding on. If you hang on, so do it. I'm better stop there. Shake hands, wait for me. Bob said yesterday, I'm preparing for the hardest fight of my career. It's been a long, eventful one. This is the 48th fight. But against this man, he knows that this is a mountainous task indeed. Scheduled for 12, the WBA Pan-African heavyweight title held by the mountain warrior Shane Cameron, who is perfect. 17-0, 15 wins by way of the short route. Off we go from the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Mirabic in the red trunks, Cameron in the white. The opening rounds are going to be important in this fight. I really believe that whether Cameron can unload early and get on target against Big Bob. And if he can't hurt Big Bob early, I think Big, Big Bob's going to make it very, very interesting. One thing Mirovic will not be is intimidated based on the quality of fighters he has fought in the past. Huge heart, Bob Mirovic. Absolutely huge heart. Cameron just looks like such a compact powerhouse. He does, doesn't he? He really does. It'll be interesting to see just how hard he really does punch. Mirovic snapping out the jab, getting the encouragement from his corner. Ooh. And looking to follow it up. Cameron shakes his head. It was a grazing right hand. He rolled with it well, but it just clipped his chin. Stiff jab to the body from Cameron. Cameron's reflex is looking sharp in the opening round. Good jabbing by both boys. A lot of encouragement from the corner of Bob Mirovic. I just get the feeling that Bob Mirovic doesn't want to go to sleep at any point in this mm. fight. Yeah. Against the knockout record of his opponent here tonight. Only twice taken the distance. Certainly an impressive record. But 
you know, I don't think he's fought the caliber of opponents that Big Bob sure. fought. I mean, you've got to That's remember right. Bob's fought the undefeated Nikolai Value of the current yeah. one of the current heavyweight champions and went the distance with him. Fought overseas quite a bit. Never been afraid to take on a challenge. Bob. 50 seconds remaining of round one. Fairly tame opener so far. So far this round. Well, I've got a chance. Anthony Mundine says hello to his auntie Cindy, Ian and Jacinta in Wellington and all the family. Our friends via TV3 in New Zealand joining us this evening. And across Australia on main event. As Bob almost falls over in his enthusiasm to unload that right. Good shot to the body there by Cameron. Shane Cameron going down to the body really, really well. Using the jab nice and stiffly into the solar plexus and then following up with the right. Oh! Oh, oh vicious shots from Cameron. Short right to Mirovic's chin, stunned yeah. him for a second. And then a couple of follow-up powerhouse body punches from Cameron. Oh! Wait in this opening round. We await the bell. There it is. Wow, it was time for two minutes, but then yeah. it exploded. Very, very, very solid puncher. Woo. Shane Gee. Cameron. Pinpoint, too. Pinpoint, Paul. They were spot on. It is. Very impressive. Oh, Shane Cameron with the call. Right. He Good said he's broken, he's, he's, he's broken his hand. He's broken his hand. He's broken his right hand. Yeah, you've got to throw the left. You've got to throw the left body shot after the right, mate. Yeah. Okay, not just one shot. Okay. A low two, three. Ooh. Well, another look. That would be that dramatic was... if he has indeed broken his hand. Definitely. Well, he must have hurt it badly, but vicious shots he landed there. Seconds down, round two. Well, this really could turn things around. Oh, yeah. We'll know fairly early on as to whether or not, A, he throws the right, or secondly, his reaction if it does land. It's interesting to see what he does now, if he really yeah. works in the left hand. You ever been in this position, either of you two? Definitely. In, injured hands, yes. But not busted, perhaps. You know, if it really is busted, he'd be in strife. Yep. Well, we'll soon find out. Yet to throw it, just working that jab again, again, again. And a rip, rip to the body. Vicious rip to the body. Still yet to throw the right is Cameron in this second round. Boxing well, though. Great opportunity for Bob Mirovic here. Oh, yeah. Just tamely putting the right out there. Tapping right. Not a lot in it. But, you know, you normally, Paul, you break a hand when you hit a guy on top of the head. Yeah. You know, they look like clean blows to Bob's they chin. Did, look clean. Yeah. did that break his hand? I mean, he must have some chin like granite. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Tapping right hand to the body. Not much in that. And again. That's the right hand. Cameron boxing here in the second. Oh, there was a right oh, hand. Right right hand. Halfway through the second. Cameron yet to really test that right hand in this second round. Yeah, boxing well behind his left jab, jabbing the body, jabbing the head, doing it nicely. Bob aims a big right hand, but Cameron moves away nicely. Bit of a clubbing right to the body there from Cameron. <laughs> he's showing a great poker face, Shane Cameron, if he's... Yeah, I agree. Totally poker face. really is broken. Now, that was a hard right to the body. Didn't show any, any pain there. Mirovic looking to get... Land a big one here. And now Mirovic trying to get Cameron on the back foot. Stop. This could yet be an Stop. intriguing affair. Bob's just got to get busy now. He's just got to start throwing things. Well, you know, if he... If he um... well, would he start sensing that, hey, he hasn't really thrown the right now and he's got something well, he's, wrong? He's, he's doing a great job, Shane of disguising Cameron, it. At, uh, disguising it. He hasn't shown 
I mean, he's thrown the, the right hand to the body on four occasions, yeah. and all of them have hurt Bob Mirovic. So, if I was in there, I wouldn't be thinking for one second that he's got a sore yeah. right okay. hand. Well, we're getting towards the end of the second round. We'll take the microphone into Shane Cameron's corner. Oh, was Bob loaded up that overhand right, and made no contact though with Cameron. Wait, Flurry to finish the second round. It's in the books. Mirovic, I think, with a bit of a nick between the eyes. Uh, Boxing well, Shane Cameron, with, with mainly his left hand at this stage. All right, let's listen in to his corner to see if he'll tell us more about that hand. Good work, mate. Good work, mate. Nice work. Nice strain. You're making him miss a lot. That's good. Ready for water now? Yep. Dang. You need to throw the left hook. Use the right hand and then throw the left hook right behind it, mate. What? With the lead two or what? Yeah, lead two and then three. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm but it's got to be fast. Eh? Okay, you got to be yeah. fast. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Meanwhile, Anthony Mundine warms up, getting ready for his world title shot against Sam Solomon. He's been in this possession before. This will be his sixth world title fight tonight, two and three. His previous record. Looking sharp. Round three, Cameron and Mirovic for the WBA Pan-African heavyweight title. Bob comes out looking, you know, really worked up. He's, he's uh, Angelo Hyde of psyching him up in the corner. Big Bob coming forward. Good jab. Yeah, good jab. Chopping right by Bob Mirovic. Nice right hand by Bob yeah. Mirovic. Oh. Not, he's really not throwing the right hand no. hard, is he? It's going to ensure that this fight has extended a lot further beyond what Shane Cameron would have been hoping for. I'd like to see Shane Cameron go back down to the body now and just start taking Bob Merovic's mind off the, the head work. Good work from Bob yeah, Merovic. All the there. while, Merovic's confidence is rising. It here. is. It is, yeah. And he's got so much you know, height and reach and strength yep. and weight. The longer it goes, the better it will be for Bob Merovic. Oh, and then a left. Something into the gloves of Cameron. Oh, oh. throws a big right hand. And I've seen Bob fight quite a few times. He gains confidence yep. as he goes along. That's right. Coming up on a minute to go in the third. Mirovic very handy in this oh. round as the right got him on the chin that time. Tell you what though, what a chin. Yeah. That was a solid right hand. Now if he's got a busted hand, he didn't show any yeah. any grimace of pain at all, did he? Didn't wince. No. An inch. Didn't wince an inch. Right. But I'll tell you, Big Bob took yeah. it well. Yep. It'll be interesting to see the accumulate a cumulative effect that these punches may or may not have on Bob Merovic. That's when you see just just how hard a, a guy really hits, you know. Bob was shaking a bit in the first round, but uh, he copped that one. He didn't. He recovered. He wasn't hurt badly there. And again, he was caught cleanly. Didn't seem to be be hurt at all. He's gaining confidence, I believe. Shopping left hook there from Cameron. Right! Ten seconds, Bobby, come on! Oh, work, 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 work! Follow! Whoa. Oh, this has been a tight round. That hurt Bob, that right hand. What? Three down. What a tough customer yeah. Shane Cameron is. Yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Suck him in, mate. Suck it in. Nice and deep breath. That's the one. Sam Solomon continues 
his preparation. Sammy will do 20 rounds in the dressing room, I tell you. <laughs> Have a look at him, man. He's, he's so quick. He's, he's so fit. He's the fittest human being I think I've ever seen. Yeah. 21 of 22 since that loss to Mundine in 2001. The only loss to Ronald Winky Wright. And he threw some punches that night. His manager, Coda Nasser, there. Dad sitting down. So is Shane Cameron. Okay. But keep the distance. Seconds down. Round four. Round number four. Shane Cameron telling his corner that he thinks he broke his hand in the opening round. Throwing a curveball into this fight against the veteran Bob Mirovic. He's going to do everything he knows in the book to pull this guy out. And nice uppercut from Bob. Cameron, a world-ranked heavyweight, 29 years of age, 17 and 0. Still not shy to throw the right hand. Mm. Shane Cameron. Yep. Exhorting. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what Big, Big Bob Merovic needs to do. I don't need you to let Shut up, Seton. Okay. Ryan McMahon certainly in control of the fight. Yeah. Shane Cameron wanted him to warn Merovic for holding on. It's got Shane Cameron angry at least. As Merovic holds him up again. So Cameron impeded by that right hand injury. They're trying to still find a way to win this one against Mirovic. Cameron was certainly on top early, but the injury has seen this one even out. Into the fourth. It would be some sort of upset if Mirovic prevailed. Yeah, it would be. It'd be a big upset. But he's still got a long way to go. The question is, how will Cameron's right hand hold up? Oh, oh left big jab. Mirovic flush on the jaw again. And collected a right hand for his trouble. Punches, left, left, right hand. Right. Starting to get on target more as the fight's progressing. Hang on. Great left hand. Turning into a tough war of attrition here. Cameron stalking. Bob's gaining in confidence, yeah. I believe. Angelo Hyder. You know, pushing his, his boy on, giving him confidence between rounds. Angelo Hyde has certainly Break. brought the best out of out of Big Bob. Making it a tough oh. one for the judges here in the fourth. Wow. A contest developing for the WBA Pan-African heavyweight title as we get set to embark on number five. Sweet there's, left. There's there's that. that's, a, that's a beautiful jab. But Bob did come back with some good combinations. He barely batters an eyelid after oh, that was a receiving that. Terrific double jab there, there from, from Mirovic. The crossover Bob. You haven't cut him yet, right? No. Listen, work the crossover inside. Hook him back, then work little shots. Bang, bang, on the hook. Little shots. But outside, Bob. Seconds down. Round five. Our main event is coming up next, but this one's been pretty good. Into the fifth round of a scheduled 12. 
with a title belt on the line. Mirovic in the red trunks, Cameron in the white. And it could be getting close on the judges' cards after Cameron enjoyed the early ascendancy. A couple of consecutive right hands by Cameron. You know, I think I think Cameron's, you know, he's still in front, he's yep. boxing the better. You know, his left hand's working well. But Bob getting into the fight more and more. See, you know, beautiful yep. left hand work here from Cameron. And again. Good jab back from Mirovic. And again. Good left hand work from Big Bob there. That's walking back, walking back there, you know, wear him out basically, lean on him, use your strength and your weight. Oh, vicious left hook from Cameron. And again, oh, comes straight back Mirovic, tries the overhand right. And I guess the question without the right, can Cameron put Mirovic down? With the constant left, exactly. and that's what you have to worry, wonder about. Yep. Otherwise, Mirovic's going to be able to drag this one out a while. I'd like yeah. to see Shane Cameron start going downstairs a bit more. He's landed three or four good left hooks this round, and you know, a couple of them have just stopped Bob in his tracks for a second, but he comes straight back. A lot of wrestling going on in there at the minute. Halfway through number five. What arm out, Bob? Brian McMahon again calling on Mirovic to stop wrapping up Cameron, and he calls for time. You're going to tell him to stop wrestling. No. Well, we can't help that, mate. The cage will come in and it can happen either way. He's got a cut above the right eye. Yeah, he's all right. He's he's all right. right. Yeah. Dr. Sutter. It's not too bad, but not too good either. No. It's, it's, uh, it's up relatively high. Might provide Mirovic with a target. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to spur Big Bob Mirovic on, mm. that's for sure. And there's a look. Oh, clubbing oh. left to Mirovic's jaw. That shook him. Yeah. He was hurt there. Get this Cut it out. Well, the Shane Cameron's problem. got everything up against him tonight. Yeah, he he has, has, hasn't he? Right. And that left is pretty much his only friend. His eye bleeding profusely now. What a warrior. If that hand is broken, oh, yeah. that's all I can say is what a warrior. He certainly hasn't thrown it the same way he did in the first Wait, round, I don't think. Oh, no. What, Bob? Landing oh. left to Mirovic's hurt. Mirovic's oh. wobbly. He's wobbly. He's hurt bad. And now Cameron senses that. Cameron bleeding from the eye. Landed the left hook. Mirovic's hurt. Mirovic's bleeding too now. From the nose, I think. A lot of claret up there. Both boys bleeding profusely. The blood spurting out of out of Shane Cameron's oh. eye. Big round for Cameron, though. Cameron's face oh, a mess, oh, and Mirovic oh. as well. He can sense, he can sense. He's got... Oh, Bob staggering Bob's just a little bit now. Bob's Staggered. still hurt badly, too. He's badly hurt. He's been hit with a dozen left hooks. Both fighters bleeding profusely what? now. As they get the bell. It's a bloodbath. This is living up to the oh. expectations. And as I said, if Cameron couldn't get him out of there early, he'd be in trouble. Look at that cut. A nasty one now. That has opened it up. It is a shocker. The constant lefts bearing down on Mirovic. Ooh. I've got to tell you, I am really, really impressed with Shane Cameron. So am I. This guy's an absolute warrior. He's yeah. got devastating power. And, and, you know, he's just not showing anything. He's a good boxer. He's got a poker face. That's right. He wouldn't like to play poker against him, I tell you. <laughs> Got to do. Low two, three, mate. Not if he loses okay. anyway. Beautiful short left hooks he's through in that round. Understand? How tough Bob, is this man? Don't just try and survive. And this man. Okay. This is right. a great fight. Great right. fight. They're great. They're living up to all the expectations. A worthy event on the chief undercard bill as you see that left again, the constant left that Cameron has had to throw. With his right hand largely incapacitated. Off we go in number six. What's going to happen now? And that cut is going to be oh, attended look, to on. again. You want to have a look at it while you're after you have, you have work on. Come on, they should stop, they stop the blood. They should be allowing this to go look, on. You know, it's above the eye. The blood's Box. bleeding down the side. I mean, Paul, you've had them. I've yeah. had, I've had yeah. them, you know, like fight open, on. Like, open like letterboxes and never, right. never been stopped on a cut. Stop.
Miravik in the red trunks, Cameron in the white. WBA Pan-African heavyweight title on the line. Cameron, the title holder, a 17 and zero record. But with the suspected broken right hand, relying on the left to weigh down the Aussie veteran. Blood streaming again from Cameron's eye. Not running into his eye though. No. Miravik, not a man to be put down easily. Oh, definitely not. Paul, I think they stop too many fights too early these days That's on right. catching, eh? That's right. And you, unless, it's, unless it's in the eyelid, on top of the eyeball. There's that left hook yeah. again. Oh, look at Miravik's nose. That air blood now. I think Bob's possibly got a busted nose. Okay, well, this ring oh. canvas was looking the worst for the <laughs> wear when we got up and, in, and did the intro, but now it's, uh, these fights, it's going to be a lot worse. It's it a wash. work out of a lifetime. Yeah, there's a wash with blood right now. Halfway through number six. Clubbing overhand right to the top of Miravik's head. He doesn't really want to throw that right all too often, Cameron. Forced to several times. Beautiful. Left rip to the body. Miravik hangs on, gains a few seconds breath. I think Shane Cameron can sense that Bob Miravik's fading. He knows he hurt him badly in the last round on about three occasions. But Bob fighting like the yeah. warrior that he is. And you don't put Bob Miravik away easily, right. believe That's me. Right. Nikolai Valuev, the seven yeah. foot two inch Russian, couldn't do it. Right. Hit the cut, you heard the cry from the Miravik chorus. Oh. Ripped to the body. Oh man, and, and again. again. Oh, that was a vicious oh. shot. Miravik wearing some blows here in the oh, sixth. Oh, right hand, left talk. What a fight this has turned out to be. Half a minute to go. Round number six, the halfway mark. Cameron trying every trick in the book. Right uppercut there, blood streaming oh, from his eyes. Oh. Just hope the doctor doesn't stop it on cuts. Might be best to send the kids to bed, folks. Or at least get them to look away for a little bit. These two men aren't looking pretty right now. Coming up the end of the round. Coming up 10 seconds remain, remaining. Round eight. Little short right hand on the chin of Mirovic. Again, good body shots by Cameron. Ooh. This is a war. Whoa. And it looks like there's a bit of a war in the, in the crowd as well. Just a friendly negotiation, I think, Paul. I think so. Look at that blood streaming uh, from Cameron's eye. Shane Cameron is an absolute warrior. Oh, he's a warrior and a half. Good. And it's sorry to cut you off, but in saying that, so is this man, Bob Mirovic. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, some concern over the eye for Shane Cameron. Plus the referee, I think I'd be more concerned about Bob Mirovic's eye right now. You're landing the right, but you've got to follow the left right behind it. No, it's good. <laughs> yeah, no, Bob. That was Bob's nice fine. Bob's fine, with, uh, you reckon? Uh, yeah, Bob's fine. You know, with the uppercut. But uh, Cameron's eye, I don't think it's as much the worry. It's bleeding profusely. They should be able to stem the blood. But you've got to throw two Seconds down, round seven. Oh. Hop out, hop out. Oh, this is great stuff, Come folks. Out. Hope you're enjoying it around Australia on main event and through TV3 in New Zealand. Oh, Cameron and Mirovic going to war. Cameron out. He's trying to finish right it. Hand. Sorry. Sorry, it's good, mate. It's good. We're crossing over each other because it's so Wait. exciting. Yeah. Hang on, Bob. Don't march him. Right. And, you know, you can just start to see, I think, the, the, the weight difference starting to take its toll on Shane Cameron. Yeah, Bob Miravik oh, right hand laying. Well, he fired it up there a couple of times. Oh, Cameron oh, slipping, oh, Miravik lifting. Is there a cut on Cameron's left eye now? Right. Yes, oh, I there think is. there is. Oh, my gosh. There's wow. A, Cameron bleeding right. from both eyes now. Oh, this is boxing, ladies and gentlemen. This is a war. This is what boxing's about, about. at this level. The big heavyweights turning on a show at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. What's the next chapter going to bring? Great left hooks. 
Cameron Blake. Oh, crashes. Oh. Mirovic, Mirovic, hurt. He's hurt. Wobbling. Oh, and Cameron Blake with the body shots. Oh, left oh. Hooked. He's hurt. He dropped his hands. Big one, and he's really hurt. Cameron, Vicious. Can he put Vicious him down? Body blows. Can he oh, put Mirovic down? Oh. I don't think he can. I don't think Shane Cameron has anything left. He is as yeah, strong no. as much as he can. He'll find it. Oh. And still Mirovic stays oh. on his feet. Oh, look at the blood. Unbelievable. My young bloke will be at home on the edge of his seat watching this. <laughs> that was out of the boys. He's 18. He's 18. He's allowed to watch it. Okay. Oh, look. The referee's going to take oh, him to the doctor check again. those cuts. Oh, come on, Lou. It's not Lou Lewis. The other doctor. Dan, stop it. No, no, that's all right. No. Which is the new one? That's the new one. What's he saying? Okay. He's saying okay. he's fine. All right. What a fight. Punch. 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 They're going to keep it going. Punch. Mirovic having a good half minute there to catch his breath. Oh. Throwing a couple as well. But so does Cameron. What a war. Mirovic was in all sorts of trouble in that neutral corner. Copped a, an absolute battering. Rips, hooks, and right hands from a suspected broken hand. These guys still have such a long way to go in this fight. Yeah, yeah. five rounds after this. <laughs> Kevin shaking his head, you didn't get me. He didn't either. But he's putting up a great fight, Bob Mirovic. The 41-year-old. Big Bob the Bear Mirovic. Always comes and gives, puts on a great display. The blood runs again. Final seconds of round number seven, and Mirovic trying to close it out. Ditto Cameron. Wow. This is one of the best heavyweight fights I've seen. It certainly is. In a long, long time. It certainly is. Mirovic was in danger of going down early in that seventh round, Cam but he sees it through to the bell. Cameron feeling the pace. He looked pretty tired there going back to the corner. They're working on him. He has thrown so many, hasn't he? Oh, look at this. Mirovic in the cross arm smother there, weathering the storm. Cameron hit him with everything he had there. The brutal extremities of being a boxer on display tonight. The left eye doesn't look much of a cut. The right eye's got a lot to give it again. It's, it's, you know, on the outside of the eye, above the eye. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. The blood runs down the side of the face. When it runs directly into the eye is when it's a problem. And you've got to commend the corners for doing a great job stopping the, the, the blood flow yeah. of these cuts. Scheduled you've got to, you've for got, 12. Sorry, you've got to commend Bob Mirovic for making it bleed again at the start of every round. <laughs> and Bob still, you know, walking up, giving it everything he's got. Keep going, Bob. They're calling from the corner. Easy for them to say. <laughs> <laughs> Stiff left jab. He's not hurting you, Bobby, they reckon. As you said, easy for them to say, but, you know, Mirovic got a great chin, a great heart. That's exactly what Bob Mirovic's going to do. He's just going to walk him back. Yep. He's got to lay on him. Lay on him, he's got to bully him in there. That's what he's doing, popped the left hook, stunned him for a second, but then walked him into the corner. The, eye, the blood streaming again. From that right eye, that cut, nasty one. Ooh, Cameron Mountain Warrior. Cameron looked a bit uh, 
as he punched himself out. He looked a bit unsteady there for a second when he, he did. Back. He, he sort of stumbled for a second. A lot of guys don't take into consideration just how much that weight difference makes, you know, having Bob Mirovic laying on you. Oh, the difference sure. here is 14 kilograms, 104 Cameron, 118 kilograms for Mirovic. Minute to go, round number eight. Remember, Cameron, 17 previous fights, all wins, 15 by way of knockout. He's only been taken the distance twice before. Bob Mirovic is definitely a world-class heavyweight. I wouldn't say about the, the, the top echelon, but he's definitely up there with some of the best journeymen. He is, because he, he gives his 110%. He's so big, he's so strong. And, you know, you're not going to knock him out with one shot either. No. It's like ch chopping a tree down, a big old tree. Right. Bit Take of a grimace from Mir Mirovic there. Oh, taking some vicious body oh. Oh. What a left hook that was. A massive blow by Shane oh, Cameron. Wow, what a victory wow. that was. So full of character and heart by the Kiwi. Oh. And he has flattened Bob Mirovic, the veteran, with a big left. Wow, he's out. Woo. He is gone. And that almost came from nowhere. It looked like Mirovic was going to see it through to the bell and then crash. Man. That was a cracking left hook. What a fight that was. Let's hope Big Bob's oh. okay. Mate, Shane Cameron is the truth. He is. Uh, he is. He's great. You cannot deny this guy. Oh. If his Look. hand is broken, how much more impressive does that oh. make this victory? Unbelievable. Bob taking quite a while to come round here. And we hope he's all right. He hit the ground hard. Was, his, head, yeah. his head actually went out the edge of the ring, I think, which is always a bad sign. He hit his head hard on the canvas going down. He did. A stunning conclusion to this fight as Shane Cameron retains his WBA Pan-African heavyweight title belt with the 16th knockout of his career. And Mirovic is still down as we have another look at how it ended. I think. Bang. Ooh. And his head. Hit yeah, the right on as the well. edge. Right on the edge. That's a bad, bad thing. Especially after taking so, so much consecutive yeah. punishment. You yeah. know, just hook after hook, right hand after right hand. That's the cumulative effect that I was talking about before. The uh, a puncher can have on a on a fighter. Yep. And then just takes a shot oh, on top is. of the yeah. head. It was yeah. a temple shot. Temple shot. Temple shot. Great work by our main event team, bringing you the replays of that. And it was lights out for Bob Mirovic. He's still groggy, but he's still coming too. very to. groggy. And he deserves to get the response he is hearing from these fans in Sydney tonight. Definitely. That could bring down the end of Bob Mirovic's career. Oh, I that think so. That could bring a curtain down on his career, that, that knockout loss. 41 years of age, a veteran of 48 professional fights. As we said, he's been in the ring with some of the best and let's say shane cameron's heading down that track as well 29 years of age very exciting prospect this boy good amateur career bronze medalist in manchester in the commonwealth games and it's thumbs up unbelievable cameron shane cameron coming over to, to shake his opponent's hand you couldn't ask for much more entertainment during the course of that fight in the eight rounds or thereabouts that proceeded for the announcement here's Matt. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for these two warriors. And please put your hands together for Bob the Big Bear Miravi. The fight was stopped. At two minutes 40 in the eighth round, and the winner by knockout, still undefeated, still the WBA Pan African champion from the red corner, Shane the Mountain Warrior Cameron. Shane, well, I've got 
Georgia. He said, uh, a lot of people watching this live wouldn't know what happened. You came to your corner after round one, and you said you had a broken hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think one of the first overhands I caught Bob, I think he pushed the knuckle back into my hand, but, uh, you know, it was all right. I managed to keep going. Changed the fight a little bit, though. You had to use your left a bit more. You knew it was going to go a bit longer than you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just restricted me a bit with, without uh, using my big right hand. But uh, So I was trying to um, catch him good with the left hook and uh, work the body a bit more, you know. And uh, shame the old heads clashed a couple of times in and, and uh, cut me, but uh, can't do much about that. Tough customer, and uh, almost that uh, left hook came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kept throwing it, kept throwing it. I knew eventually I'll catch him, but uh, not that bad. But no, I caught him good, and I was happy, but... Well, probably not. Still undefeated. Where to from here, Shane? Uh, well, we'll go back and sit back and, um, you know, let the, let the cuts heal and uh, let the manager work the next fight out. Congratulations, mate. Good work with a broken hand. Great stuff. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane.